Welcome back to the channel everyone for another solo Helldiva video and today we're going to do the challenge of level 1 loadout including stratagems and guns and grenades while doing it on a Helldive mission and today we're going to do the mission of the eggs. Now the egg mission is honestly the one that I played the most when I very first was starting out that way I could just understand the movement of the bugs since this one does require you to go into a pretty hefty nest or three nests I should say but each nest typically has gone guards on the outside or aka scavengers and the more you go in the harder or more difficult or thick it gets and the challenge on this one is is using only level one stratagems as a loadout and a loadout because well level one i mean it's not really intended to really be set out to go for a level nine hell dive just like the game really isn't designed for everyone to do level nine so we're going to try a really hard difficulty on a really basic default loadout so we did land over to the right of the first nest. Now this, the reason we landed here is because typically on the outside you really find less of a population and also the armor we have does give us a little bit of a recon scan every few seconds or so. So it helps me really decide as to where a lot of them are. That way when we go in we can effectively just dispose of all the eggs. So what we're probably going to do right here is just throw in an eagle strike. That way you know get rid the majority of the eggs. That way when we do go in there it's a lot less less shooting in circles and more just trying to dodge, bob, and weave every single bug known to man. As you see here, the main objective right now is to, while that kicks in, is to really try to just take care of the hunters because the hunters are essentially the bugs that can pretty much stagger you and stun you while the others catch up and then they just piles on like a snowball effect. I see how we already have summoned a Bile Titan, but that really won't be too bad as long as we stay ahead of them. Another hint when it comes to Bile Titans to really try to mostly avoid the stun is right when you hear them about to just go ahead and spew, go ahead and swan dive because I figured that out because as soon as they puke something launches out before it before you actually get the green slime everywhere and so that's pretty much how you're able to avoid it. You'll see in this video, I do a bit, and I am able to pretty much avoid just about all of them by timing my dives correctly. And so now that we have them all in the line, as you see on the other side, kind of if you saw my last video on doing the escort mission with all the bugs on solo, so they really just go after scent. A lot of the bugs do. It all just comes down to knowing where you're going to be and where you have been. So you're able to really just line them up. Here, we're going to try to at least get through them. And we did not. Of course, we did. We, did, we pretty much did our best. I mean, that really wasn't our fault because they just smacked us up in the air. So let's just go ahead and get rid of these eggs on the side. Stem up. And then we're just going to bob and weave around these hunters. And then really just try to head back in. So let's go ahead and just take care of these that are on us. Okay, dive. And you're going to go ahead and stem. See if we can just beat this corner before these commanders do. Alright. Let's go ahead and just boosh, 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 boosh. See, there was some to the right. So let's go ahead. I think there's like one. Alright, that one's not blowing up. Yeah, do not know why that one's not blowing up. Okay, now it is. It's like, what? <laughs> so let's go ahead and dive out. Because we're kind of stunned a little bit. We do have a precision strike, so we might just throw the precision strike out there. That way we can pretty much just avoid going back into the nest, because essentially what we're trying to do is just die as at least as possible. Unlike the last mission you guys saw on the bugs when it came to doing the escort, I got really kind of like greedy and stubborn and just kept respawning in the same spot full of bugs just because I really wanted to get out of there. Then this one we're really not in that much of a time crunch because we're not really worried about escorting, thank god. Now the escort mission in my opinion is just one that really just meh, it's not really like exciting to me. I think more missions like this one, that sealing the holes, as well as the soil scans or the geo wait, geothermic or drilling samples. To me, those are probably my favorite. The least favorite would probably be the ICBM, like you know, launching the codes, um, drilling the oil, and then my least would have to be the escort. But see here, the Bile Titan does not see us, so we're going to just go ahead and call in this resupply. Let's see what if actually he. Mm, I don't think he sees us. Nope, he actually does not. Let's go ahead and just snag this. 
don't even know if he saw us even take that. Nope, he did not. That's one thing that is cool about this skin. I'm saying skin. This armor is the 20% increased um, susceptibility to not being seen by the enemies. Now, I'm not really sure how effective it is against the bots because typically I run a little bit heavier of armor since the bots can shoot rockets literally almost from across the map, basically. Let's see. We're heading up on this nest. We might just wait for this eagle to finish up. Okay. Now let's go ahead and throw in the sentry gun just to draw attention on the other side. Let's just go ahead and pivot out. And then you'll hear when it lands, a lot of the bugs make noises like Bray. So we're just waiting on that to kick in. It starts kicking them out of the way. And then we're going to go on in and just dispose of the rest of the eggs. All right, airstrike is going down. You see there, it's going to work. It sounds like it's really just going after the scavengers and hunters because I bet the commanders and warriors, yeah, are pretty much closer to the inside of the nest. But let's throw in a kill streak. Let's see if that went in. I believe it did. All right, so we do have the brood commander on us. All right, let's go ahead and knock those out. So we do have. Surprised I haven't seen any chargers. Because typically you will find chargers all over the place. Alright, let's see what this airstrike does. That should maybe have. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and then finish out the rest of this side. This precision might get it. I'm not really sure because I kind of blindly threw that in there. So let's just see, we have what, 15? Let's, if we get closer, we'll be able to see. But right now we're just trying to really just fight, figure out where the rest of the horde is. Cause we do not want to just run into a giant, just a wall of bugs. All right, so we do have a few strays. That's one thing about this penetrator. It will absolutely melt the warriors in the face. All right, let's go on inside of this nest and just finish it off because we were really not really successful on the uh, precision. All right, so what else we got? All we have is really the machine gun. Typically, I you know reserve the machine gun for like when I'm really in tight corners, about to just really hold the line. Not really for nests because it's just so slow to move around. All right, let's see. Where's the entrance of this? All right. Bada boom. All right, this should be this last wall right here. Yes. Come on, Add ammo. <laughs> shoot! Let's bob and weave. All right, here. Oh, shoot, shoot, bob and weave. Stem. Let's go ahead and just dive out of here. Clutch. All right, let's see. When in doubt, just stem and then move your POV and you're like aiming left and right real quick. That way they are not able to lock on to your hitbox. This is one thing I just realized back in the day when I first first start playing this as to wait, how can I avoid these guys? Because I'm tired of getting hit. So what if like I could juke? That's essentially what you do on this. All right, so we got resupply over there. We have like what? one egg left let's come back here we do need some more stems though so let's just wait this one out because the last thing we want to do is just take another l right let's go ahead not <laughs> it's not a jungle jam let's see now let's head on in and just finish this baby out. This one shouldn't be too difficult because like I said, like they are on the other side and since they were not able to really see us now, they lost us. They pretty much go to the very last part where our scent was. As you see there, we were just walking through there, not even just like 15, 10 seconds ago. And now that one of these hunters sees us, they're all on to us. And so now they're all just going balls in. 
just gotta really watch out for these hunters. Okay, so we do have what five now? Five kill streak. That was pretty awesome. So this one is by extraction. I'm not sure why we did this one. I think we just did it because it was closer. Usually it would do something like this last, but either way, we're gonna do all three of them anyhow. I see we're just crossing below the 30 minute mark. Let's just let the stamina kick back in. We just have one egg left, so this one will just be quick. Pop pop! We might just throw in the orbital. Alright, let's see if we can actually ring this one. See, last go round was an epic fail, so let's see what we got. And we might just shoot it. We're gonna waste it. See, we have oh, a warrior calling in a breach. But we're not gonna go in through that side because not really wanting to get into a giant horde this early, especially when we have to do the rest of the objectives. I am thinking about trying a 1000 plus kill game with a level one loadout just to see if it's possible. Really curious how that would go, especially because the machine gun should melt. However, you know, when you have that many Bile Titans at end game after you do all the objectives, typically it's kind of hard to really maneuver around. So we might just have to take advantage of our orbital strikes, even though we have that, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine plus. But we'll just wait for that game whenever it comes. But we're just going to finish this one right here. All right, so let's head. Let's just go ahead and just trek it along. Alright, so now that we're crawled our stuff in and we're all ready to go and just evade some Bile Titans, we're all ready to go straight into this nest. This one is actually a little bit easier of a nest to go through because a lot of the eggs are just clustered together. So the airstrike should get almost half. So we'll see what we get. As well as a precision. So we're pretty much going everything right now. Almost got it all actually, 37, 44, let's see, 45, let's just go ahead and call that airstrike, that should finish us off maybe, although I think we do have another side to this, so that might be where the last 5 or 6 are, really we didn't even get one, alright so we have 15 to go, Probably just going to go back around and go in through the other side. So let's just roll with that. Alright, so we've done our loop, and now we're ready to go back in and just fin essentially finish this nest off. So I believe the last remainder... Yeah, these should be all. Oh, nope, we actually have to go on the other side. So let's go ahead. Just stem out. Let's just go through these guys. That's crazy. Bobbing and weaving will actually save you a whole at least one to two lives when doing the nests. Let's see, it's finish. One more. Yep. Easy peasy. Alright, so now we have to head... What, southwest now? Or south? Let's see. Trying to see if we have any others still down here, because I know on the way we had a Bile Titan that was kind of glitched and just stuck. So we might run into him. Let's just see. Actually, no, he moved along. So now we just essentially just got to run on through. Maybe try to get a high kill game. Uh, we're not. We'll just have to see how it feels when we go up there. I might just leave this one as just the objective video and then just do another one or a different run as a, like a 1000 plus kills run. So let's just see what we can get. I'm just go ahead and throw this orbital though with that whole squad of commanders. I think... I forgot it's not instant. It takes like 5 or 6 seconds. Oh yeah, that was mad late. Oh well, we'll just go around all of it. Outrun you? Can't you can't bait me? See now we got sentry gun about to come in. Oh my gosh, he actually caught up. Just stem this up. 
All right, let's see if we can hold off for this resupply. Let's go ahead and throw this machine gun sentry in. Kind of like thin the herd a little bit, because it looks like we're just carrying everyone and their mother with us. We have artillery, probably gonna go with it. Can we get through this crack though? Some games you can, others you can't. You might... Come on. There we go. It just really depends on the map, right? AKA the seed, because sometimes it allows it, other times it doesn't, and other times you're just literally glitched in the wall and just have to die. So it's pretty much like a gamble. All right, so now that they're all stuck behind that crack, we can pretty much call an extraction with our eyes closed. Yeah, I think, yeah, pretty much. Just go ahead. What's this code? Well, that one's not too bad. Some of them, directional arrows will just make you just like, huh? Look at it like two or three times when really it's just like in plain view. About three minutes, man. That's a long one. So now we just pretty much chill. I don't think there will be too many spawning because there's not a bug breach around us and really haven't killed a lot of bugs right here. Let's go ahead and scan this radar. Yeah, it looks like we do have a good bit pack. Yep, they are coming up. Some of them are going around the mountain. Big brain. Oh, we are getting too far away then. So we gotta stay real close on this one. Alright, let's see, you got a Bile Titan coming to our left. Not sure anything about the right. Just go ahead and throw an eagle on that side. We should catch a little bit or the tail end of that line. So let's see what we get. Survey says, and seven's not bad. So we got nine. Ooh! Oh my god, we yeah, I think we're but we're <laughs> we're about to take the L. All these damn hunters. Yeah, we're done. Spray and pray. Famous last words. Come on. Alright, that was sick. Ooh, now nah, we're done. We have no stims. We're at 1 HP. Yeah, that's what I thought. We do have not too much longer. Let's see, we got Bile Titan behind us. We need to watch out. I wonder if this airstrike will kill us, because we are really close. Survey says... Oh yeah, 34. Still didn't get all of them though, that's kind of the shocking. Now what, minute 30 left? Shouldn't be too bad, the rest of the time we're just going to run a circle basically. Let's go ahead and do a precision, because we are going to have some feeding out from the top. I might get the charger will ever go off. Eh, seven. No, I did not get the charger, unfortunately. But, we'll be fun. Essentially, like, if I could really dis really describe the strategy to really excel at bugs, it would just have to be knowing how to bob and weave, and really knowing your surroundings with the hunters, because, you know, I use the um, guard dog or the rover forever, not really forever, but quite a few games here lately. And then I kind of just became blind to really worrying about the hunters. And then once I started doing this level one challenge, I really had to basically become reacclimated to always watching around for these guys because the rover is pretty clutch because not only does it take out hunters, but it can also take out the shriekers. So it's a really nice thing to have, but as far as this challenge goes, it's a pretty cool one. I mean, I would have never thought when I first started this game that I would be trying to do my beginner's loadout because I was like, oh my god, it's beginner loadout. Why? I don't care about this stuff. And then now here we are on the max difficulty. So we're bossing it out. We're doing pretty well. We have, what, five seconds left or eight seconds left. I can't read. Let's go ahead and miss this charger. Yeah, so we're going to basically, after this rock, we're just going to turn right on and then just waltz right on as if we own the ship. Let's go up. Let's go ahead and just go around that one. Let's go past this dead bile titan. And then pretty much juke. And then capiche. So that's pretty much that mission. Safe to say, level 1 loadout is still viable if you are down to use it. 
I mean, probably the, my favorite thing out of this whole thing is going to be the Eagle Airstrike because I still use that even with my um, higher tier loadout because, well, it's not only can it destroy bugs and things, but also structures. And so when you're trying to really just destroy a little bit heavier tanky objects, then it's kind of a two in one, two birds with one stone. I really haven't been using the precision orbital because that's just like meh I would rather use something like the laser or the rail cannon not the rail cannon it's the orbital cannon whatever that's called but either way this is pretty much level one running with the eggs I sure hope some of you guys can take some tips from this probably the biggest thing though I would take from all of it is just one juke aka bob and weave whenever you are in a bunch of them because doing it is better than not doing it because the last thing you want to do is just catch a straight claw <laughs> so that as well as really just have fun and know your surroundings and practice makes perfect i've been playing this shit a long time so yeah i do all the challenges no one else does but thank you all for watching and i look forward to seeing all of you in the next one mission accomplished helldiver one small step